start of the show with the boomer moment. <laughs> How y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? Welcome back. Welcome back to another episode of the Zolian Podcast. Uh, I think this is episode like 220 something. I can't remember. <laughs> Welcome back either way. Uh, listen, I know it's been a while. I know it's been a while, but um, yeah, I got a lot to talk about. All right. So first of all, I want to address the elephant in the room. I know I haven't been posting a couple of days, uh, you know, actually throughout the month of September, I've been pretty quiet, um, you know, working through a lot of stuff, man. It's been a very busy month. You know, I do apologize for that. Uh, in the future, I'll be a little bit more, a little bit more uh, transparent about that. Um, you know, just wrapping things up, you know, making some life changes, you know, changing things up. I said, I told you guys I was working on the whole, um, you know, making this book thing, and I'm serious about that. So I made a lot of progress there. Unfortunately, my uh, cover artist, uh, <laughs> my cover artist, rugged. I don't know if they rugged their own, um, their whole everything because their business went kaput. So that sucks. Uh, but I'm gonna do it myself. So uh, we'll see how that goes. I think it'll be okay. Um, you know, I had to get back into the old Photoshop game. I'm very rusty, but I'm getting better as the days go on. Um, you know, fantasy has always been a tough, uh, kind of style for me. You know, I'm, I'm okay with sci-fi. I, I would say I'm at least okay. Um, not, not great or even good, probably just okay. Um, but now it's starting to become like a muscle, like a muscle you, you, you exercise, right? You, you blend things in, you learn new techniques and you get better and better and you get kind of an eye for design, right? So that's going to take a little bit of a, uh, it's a bit of a step back, but I think ultimately it'll be a step forward because now the covers will be a lot more personable, right? They'll be more relevant to the story as opposed to like, you know, an artist's rendition of what the story <laughs> is. So, so there's that. Um, so that's good news in a way. I took the silver lining out of it. You see how I did that? Um, but anyways, there's a couple of uh, concerns I want to address uh, in regards to the show. So I did notice uh, over the course of the summer, um, the, the views for the, uh, and this is just the elephant in the room. We're just addressing the elephant in the room. So the views haven't been so, doing so well as far as things like crypto and stuff like that. I still am a little, I'm still, you know, I'm still passionate about it. I still have a little, um, you know, a desire to talk about, you know, the whole crypto space and everything. Um, you know, even when, even though I had to like use, uh, code words, if I want to like, you know, pass through the, the whole uh, algo underground, you know, that was also that time kind of started to wane. I started to notice a drop in views from there as well because people aren't like picking up on the codes. Uh, you know, who knew? You know, who knew people weren't interested in that? You know, it is what it is. Um, the the uh, there's a couple of things like the the whole Mashinsky stepping down. I want to talk about that. So that'll be that's still gonna happen. Um, I'm thinking. We're going to do a rebrand, uh, but not right away. You know, I'm going to make it a little bit more gradual this time. And then that way, you know, we can get all the topics that we want to cover that kind of have been around that I should be covering. We'll, we'll get to all those and we'll run that well dry before we uh, rebrand there. So, um, you know, do I still think crypto has some sort of a, a, a future? Yeah, it's it might come back. Um, honestly, though, I'm a little I'm a little bearish on the whole thing just because of how the world took to it. You know, uh, when the world tells you, you know, it's kind of here's the thing about crypto. You know, you you need you need people to actually believe in it to actually make it work. Like the mainstream has to believe in it, which also requires a couple of other things like uh, hacking. You know, those hackers and leakers and all those people who, you know, the exploiters, those guys have to go to prison. Like, they have they have to be put away. You know, they have to be, you know, deleted, okay? Um, that's just one of the things that has to happen if you want this thing to be adopted. Another thing is these corporations who are, like, uh, clearly trying to um, profit off of it en masse, um, like in gaming and stuff like that, like blatant rug pulls, like NFTs and stuff like that. Um, not that NFTs themselves are rug pulls, but the way they're being promoted and used by corporations to make like 5x, 3, you know, 5x, 6x, 7x, that's just not going to 
make this thing viable, right? You know, that can't be a thing. So the whole, it's open source has a double-edged sword to it, right? The whole decentralization has a double-edged sword to it. A lot of abuse can happen. Um, you know, it's like the it's like the balance. You, know, out, you have the outlaws, and you have the the oppressors, and you have to find some happy middle ground where you know the oppressors, you know, don't have uh, enough a hold where they can stop the whole thing, right? Whereas the outlaws, there's not enough outlaws for it to become unruly maybe here and there something happens and it's rare kind of like how uh when you go to the grocery store something bad could happen right you never know but there's enough of a civilization you know civility um you know at least in the good areas <laughs> there's enough of a civility and understanding where people have like people have pistols people have their own arm arms they have their own guns they have their own you know rifles there's enough of a you know um a unspoken threat that somebody wouldn't do that right somebody who isn't civil wouldn't do that right so there's there has to be something like that um in the space you know maybe i don't know if that's vigilantism i can't speak on that i'm just saying that this is what requires uh mass adoption so there's that there's like a whole topic on that i can talk about that in the future a little bit more um yeah i'm gonna experiment with a couple of uh, of other topics and we'll see what happens you know i want to i want this thing to grow and in order for it to grow you know we need you know kind of leaning in more into the the normie world right kind of talking about topics that people are interested in and uh seeing what you know and things i'm that i'm of course interested in as well there has to be that overlap um you know one thing that has uh had some interesting success was the alien stuff so maybe we'll talk more about aliens in the future we'll see um yeah so uh we'll we'll, we'll read drink we'll read drink we'll rethink we'll read we'll re-drink, we'll re-drink everything no uh we'll rethink uh you know how we brand the uh the books brains blockchains we'll see uh <laughs> we'll see how that goes uh i have a couple of ideas um but yeah so there's that. Uh, and I'm also uh, reading a lot more. I'm reading a lot more books. So we might talk about books in the future. Uh, man, I'm, I, I'm telling you, man. Some books out there, uh, I got to say, in my opinion, TV is kind of, um, I don't want to say, well, well, maybe I'll talk about that in a future episode, like really into detail. But I think TV is kind of done. I think TV, as we know it, is kind of, it's been infiltrated. It's kind of over. So maybe we'll talk about that in the future about like, how the infiltration happened and how that's kind of it's kind of over when it comes to like uh, if you're looking for new content on TV that's gonna be good um, I wouldn't hope I wouldn't put my hopes up man I mean look at this rings of power stuff it's not it's not looking good it's not looking good uh, you know and uh, House of Dragon yeah it's it's okay you know nothing to, it's not I, I wouldn't call it good I wouldn't call it bad it's it's okay um, but yeah, like I said, I'm kind of like going back into reading like old fantasy and man, I'm telling you, <laughs> the old fantasy is so good. I swear guys. Uh, now it, you know, we'll, we'll talk about it in the future. I'm not going to go into too much detail, but yeah, there that's, those are my thoughts right now. Tell me what you think. Um, I'm going to probably do some more smaller form content like this. Uh, less so streams. We'll probably do a stream or two every week, but we won't be doing like everyday kind of streams anymore. I think, in the, uh, at least for the foreseeable future, I just I see the streaming channels kind of going down. Um, they're not doing so well, and of course, mine wasn't doing so well too. I'm just gonna, you know, be be straight up transparent about it. Um, and yeah, man, that's about it. And I think I think that's covering. Oh, of course, I almost forgot um, the Katana stuff being lifted. I did notice that. We'll be talking about that in the future. I'm going to cover some more Katana stuff as well before we wrap up and get to, like, the rebrand. Um, but in the meantime, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks uh, for watching and listening if you got to this point. Appreciate your time. Let me know what you think. You guys have a uh, wonderful, beautiful day this Saturday. And God bless, man. Take it easy.